happy, always. Thank you. I'm sure you realize what a lucky man you are. Oh, I do. And then when I asked your name, you couldn't remember. I can't. What's wrong with me? for you? Uh, I don't know. Looks like we made it just in time. I'm glad we didn't wait for the tow truck. Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> yeah, she is, isn't she? Marriage is the union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind. It is intended for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. But more importantly, it is a means through which a stable and loving environment may be attained. Through marriage, Jack and Catherine make a commitment together to face their disappointments, embrace their dreams, realize their hopes, and accept each other's failures. We're here today to witness the joining in marriage of Jack and Catherine. This occasion marks the celebration of love and commitment with which this man and this woman begin their lives together. Oh, baby, it hurts so much. I can't stand it. I feel like I'm dying. With care and responsibility towards self and one another comes the promise of full and happy lives. Uh, I, I should have an ID in my handbag. Where's that? Where's my, my Everything rat? okay over here? This woman fainted, and she's pretty disoriented. Uh, I'll take it from here. Carly? Uh, you know her? I work with her husband. Ex-husband. I know you. Sure you do. Jack introduced us. Oh, Jack. Yeah, Jack. I, I need him. Would you call him for me? Please call him. Carly, he's getting married today. Remember? Within the safety of a loving relationship is found the fertile soil for continued growth. Jack's getting married today. How could I forget that? If everything's under control here... Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. You think you can stand? You know, I think I'd prefer to just sit here for a minute if that's okay. Maybe I should call an ambulance. No. no, 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 no. I'm just uh, feeling a little lightheaded. That's all. I'm okay. All right. You know, I, I haven't eaten yet today. And um, we've been going through a pretty tough time, you know, Doug. I understand. I, I probably just poured myself a few too many glasses of wine last night. That's oh, I'm not leaving you here. And in 10 minutes, I'm going to be late for a stakeout. So if you don't want to go to the hospital, then you're coming with me. By gathering together all our fondest hopes for Jack and Catherine from all present here, we assure them that our hearts are in tune with theirs. What are you These doing? Are so meaningful to us. Keeping an eye out for the one whose fondest wish is to see this wedding tank. Well, if Carly does show up, there is a pitch for it. Strengthen each other Maybe I show up here. Carly with a pitchfork. How apt. Let's try not to think the worst. Like many After other couples, Catherine and Jack started out as friends. They stand before us today because that seed of friendship blossomed into love. Catherine and Jack. What's with Brad? If it is God's will, and this union creates children, looks like you'd rather be any place but here. God's plan. 
We will. We will. Hey, JJ, get ready for bunk beds. <laughs> Marriage is an act of faith and a personal commitment, as well as a moral and physical union between two people. It requires and deserves daily attention and loving kindness, supported by the will to make it last. I didn't know what else to do but bring her here. I do not need a babysitter. I think she might need a lot more than that. <sighs> no offense, but you really don't look so good. <laughs> well, thank you. And, you know, I didn't want to argue it with Doug, but passing out at Old Town is not an arrestable offense. So, if you'll excuse me... Driving without a license is an arrestable offense. So is driving while intoxicated. I am not drunk. I can see that. Which is why I'd like to take you to the hospital. No, thank you. Jack would want me to make sure you're okay, Curly. Well, it's not Jack's job to look after me anymore, is it? At least let me call someone. Gwen or uh, Rosanna? No. No, I, 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 I don't want them to see me like this. Then you admit you're in bad shape. Yes, I'm in bad shape. The love of my life is marrying another woman. Okay. If you won't let me take you to the hospital, then you need to have a responsible party come and get you. Because there's no way I'm letting you out in the town alone in this condition. Alice, please. You've got to be reasonable. Mm, who, me? I'm serious, dude. There's got to be someone I can call. Into this holy estate, these two persons present now come to be joined. If any person can show just cause why they may not be joined together, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Why would they leave that part in? What do you need? I need you to come down and get me. I'm, um, I'm at the police station. Police station? It's a long story. I'll explain when you get here. I'm on my way. I'm not going to make you late for the wedding, am I? No, no worries. I'll be right there. <sighs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Just sorry. have a seat. Let's no, make no, no, Jack, up. I'm sorry. I can't stay. <laughs> What? Okay, you know, I'll, I'll be back, right back, okay? It's something I have to do. It's important. No, okay, it's not okay. I'm sorry. Wait for What me. is wrong wait, with you, Brad? Brad? It's all right. Just let's keep going. No, no. I think we should wait. Katie. What's a few minutes? We'll at least be married. I know, but... but... We did this so fast, and so many of our friends and family couldn't be here. I know it's important that you have your brother here. It's important for me, too. You're right. You're right. Sometimes I think you know me better than I know myself. I'm um, sorry, everybody. Sorry for the holdup, but it looks like we're going to take a five-minute break. <laughs> so feel free to stand up and stretch and chit-chat. Uh, help yourself to one of Emma's famous pecan cookies. She, she mailed us six dozen to remember her by. But don't touch the cake, okay? No cake. What are they thinking? Any idea who was on the phone with that? No. Because he's been on that phone all day. I figured he was trying to get a date for the reception. He must have called every woman in that little black book of his. Well, whoever she is, she better get here soon. I'm going to kill them both. You're not going to tell Jack about this, are you? I heard you had a car accident the other night. I wasn't drinking. I didn't say you were. I am not a danger to myself or to anyone else. Why don't you want Jack to know what happened to you today? Because I don't want him to overreact. Because I don't want him to keep me from my kids. He wouldn't do that, Carly. He'd want to know. Alice, promise me you won't tell him. Please. <laughs> 